Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Mini Mate review. Today we're having a look at the best of Marvel Mini Mates. In this set, we have obviously Deadpool and the Punisher. And in this video review, I will be doing in a second a comparison to my favorite Punisher and Deadpool Mini Mates so everyone will know which ones I like the most just because I feel like it. So, we first start off by saying I'm not a massive Punisher fan by any means at all. I know about the character, I've read some of the comics, I did enjoy the recent Warzone title, the little miniseries, but I'm not exactly a massive fan. On the other hand, I do love Deadpool, like a lot of people do. Deadpool is second in line to Spider-Man as my favorite Marvel character, so I buy pretty much anything I can find Deadpool. So I had to have this set. Punisher was just kind of a little bit of a bonus, you know, it's whatever. Anyway. Let's get into the figures, and then I will do the comparisons. So, this, of course, is the Punisher, Mr. Frank Castle. I'll just zoom in on him. And there you see a decent face for him. I believe, a uh, little shout out here, Smashmaster12 mentioned that he thought the face was a little bit iffy on him, and I do agree with that. I definitely do agree. I share the exact same opinion. But, uh, he's a pretty, pretty... Pretty good mini mate. I dig them. I like the belt, the pouches. I believe those are supposed to be pouches any anyway. And uh, I do not like this holster though. I, I don't care for it. I don't know why. I just don't. It has a knife and a little sheath there. A little bitty tiny knife. And of course here you can see that he is holding, of course, two guns. Now the Punisher that was released. I don't know what wave it was in. I'm sorry. I don't remember the wave, but this is kind of just a basic re-release of him. I'll put the information to the other Punisher in the description below, but uh, just kind of a rehash of the same weapons. Well, the pistol was a rehash. The pistol, let me pick it up and show it. I don't have it in there because this little pistol is a pain, number one, to hold on to, and number two, to put in the holster and draw out of the holster, so I just didn't feel like doing that. There's the pistol. It does fit in there, it's just very snug, and of course he comes with, as you can see, an RPG, or bazooka, rocket launcher, whichever you prefer. And uh, I really don't have any complaints about the Punisher, I mean this hand is a little bit loose, but I honestly, if I had to have a loose part of the Minimate, I would like it to be the hands, because sometimes they can be very hard to turn, but uh, you know, he's alright. Uh, I will say this, he has no obstructed articulation at all, which is a big thumbs up. That was a little bit, thumbs up, thumbs up right there. There you go. So there's your Punisher, and now we'll pick up Deadpool and have a look at him. And Deadpool is where I have some gripes. Number one, I dislike the sheaths and the, or scabbards for the swords because they fall off all the time. They don't hold on, worth a, worth a damn really. So after this review, I do plan to put some Loctite super glue down in there and uh, permanently affix them to the harness. So, yeah, I mean, he comes with two of these, of course, as it, every Deadpool really does. Though I do wish they would uh, slim down the grip here a little bit. So, it didn't make the hands so wide. I really do dig the swords it comes with. I like those quite a bit. Uh, Smash Master also mentioned, I believe, that uh, if you're not subscribed to him, you should go check him out. He has a lot of mini-mate reviews. But anyway, anyway, I do believe that he also mentioned this is kind of just a reissue of the Deadpool Core mini-mate. And I do definitely agree with that. Although I think this one looks way better. Way better. I do own that box set. If anyone wants to see a review of it, just let me know. Also, I should mention that I added this onto his leg. I, uh, I bought this set kind of on a whim. I want to build up a really awesome Deadpool again. My X-Force Deadpool added a lot too, and uh, that's the newer X-Force gray costume, by the way. But he is a great mini I really do like him. This one arm is a little bit flimsy at times. It can fall off here and there, but it's a best of set. What do you really expect? So now on to the comparisons. This is Deadpool. We'll get my favorite Deadpool out. This should shock no one because it's everyone's favorite Deadpool mini -mate. There you go, the Wolverine 2-pack Deadpool, just armed to the teeth. 
I really love this Deadpool. Words cannot cannot describe my affection for this mini mate right here. He is without a doubt probably my absolute favorite mini mate. Well, I say that, but I'm really partial to the uh, the Prison Rick Grimes that was released in the Amazon.com four pack, which I reviewed. But uh, yeah, so there's the Deadpool. And by the way, these also came with two stands, and Deadpool is currently using one of them. So there you go. And my favorite Punisher. Now a lot of you are probably gonna laugh at this, but this is my favorite Punisher mini mate. This is the Punisher Warzone movie mini mate. He comes with so much stuff, and it all fits. I know the movie was just terrible. Not for Ray Stevenson's fault though, not his fault at all. He played an excellent Punisher, my favorite Punisher in any movie. Definitely better than Dolph Lundgren, and uh, I think he's better than Thomas Jane too, so everyone yell at me. I'm sure I'll get it. But uh, this is my favorite Punisher, definitely. If anyone wants to review the Punisher Warzone box set, also let me know in the comments, and I will do that up. So there you go. There is the comparison to my favorite incarnations of the same characters in Minimate form. And this is the two pack once again. Also, Deadpool, unobstructed articulation. Before I let you go, I do want to mention I don't like the crotch piece on this Deadpool. I don't. I'm going to swap that out. This is the thicker crotch piece. I know it might sound a little weird, but it is. It, it limits more leg articulation, and I, no bueno, no bueno, Diamond Select. Retire this piece. Move on, Diamond, please. Anyway, that is my review, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Thanks for watching.